The Uwaris are a haunted place. Tales of ghosts, restless spirits, and mysterious occurrences dot the landscape. One such enduring mystery still haunts the tranquil waters of Baden Lake. A lost bomber mired a hundred feet below the surface of the water in the mud and silt of the Yadkin River. While the plane's presence is well known, the story of its crash and the lives it destroyed remain an enigma. As Allied troops were storming the beaches of Normandy in June 1944, two young pilots were busy ferrying planes to the Marine Corps station at Cherry Point, North Carolina. 21-year-old 2nd Lieutenant Charles McDaniel piloted the PBJ, Navy bomber, that now rests at the bottom of the lake. McDaniel's co-pilot was Pennsylvania native John Withrow, a 22-year-old ensign in the United States Naval Reserve. Records show the duo were supposed to have landed the plane at the Cherry Point Air Station on the previous night, June 7th. However, bad weather or a faulty engine allegedly persuaded the men to land their plane at Morris Airfield in Charlotte, about 55 miles west of Baden. McDaniel hailed from Palmerville, a village just north of Baden in Stanley County. It's no surprise that McDaniel appealed to Withrow to spend the night in Palmerville and return to Charlotte the next morning to complete the delivery of their plane. Withrow would be treated to a fine home-cooked meal, and McDaniel was reunited with his bride of seven months, Mary. That night, McDaniel told his family how he often flew over his home and that the next day, on his way east, he and Withrow would fly over the village to say goodbye. On the clear but fateful morning of June 8, 1944, McDaniel stood on his porch and kissed his wife. He then hugged his mother, shook his father's hand, and bid them all farewell. Happy of her husband's visit, Mary continued her daily chores, and normalcy returned to the sleepy village of Palmerville. Shortly after lunch, the hum of the bomber's engines grew louder as McDaniel and Withrow approached the Yadkin Valley. Family and friends turned out in haste to watch the young pilot say goodbye. Witnesses reported McDaniel's plane circled the lake twice, coming in low near the water. But on the third circuit, the plane dipped below the tree line, and his family and friends turned to each other in trepidation as the plane's engines began to sputter. Seconds later, their apprehension turned to shock and horror as a loud explosion echoed across the lake. Locals rushed to the lake to see what had happened, but the water was calm and no trace of the plane was visible. Military police quickly arrived to stand guard near the hydroelectric dam that formed Baden Lake, as well as the aluminum plant producing metal for the war effort. When it became apparent the plane had crashed and sunk, Navy divers arrived to retrieve the pilot and co-pilot's bodies, and, if possible, the plane. While Mary was watched over by a local doctor, Charles' father joined the throngs of men, women, and children to watch the recovery effort. But the divers came up empty-handed. Baden Lake is formed by the immense concrete walls of the Narrows Dam, which stretch between the cliffs of Narrows Gorge, and is unusually deep and very murky. Though the plane was located, the depth of the water and poor visibility made recovery almost impossible. Over the years, repeated attempts to locate Charles McDaniel and John Withrow have turned up little, and the plane remains deep under the gentle waves of Baden Lake, just yards from the shore. Mary McDaniel never forgot her love but soon thereafter moved away from the village of Palmerville and the shore where her husband disappeared. The depth of the wreck, the loss of the crew, and the circumstances of McDaniel's actions evolved into a folklore around the lake region. Now, nearly 80 years later, the memories of those who witnessed the plane's demise are growing dim. Handed down stories are embellished, but retold with vigor, and Charles McDaniel, Mary McDaniel, and John Withrow have entered into the haunted mythology of the Uaris, a mythology surrounding lost love, lost life, and a lost Navy bomber at the bottom of Baden Lake. <laughs>